three reasons why you should use Jira. So it is a bit difficult question because there are many reasons and I can probably go on and on and on uh, and I can give you multiple reasons why you should be using Jira. But uh, if you ask me to just uh, talk about three main reasons, I would probably say that uh, number one, Jira is uh, very easy to use, especially for uh, end users. If you want uh, to use Jira for software development or maybe you are using it for uh, just managing your activities, your day-to-day -day task. The moment you log into Jira, you will not find it difficult uh, to use it as a tool. So that is, uh, of course, uh, a very strong reason. And apart from, of course, your normal users, your end users, even the administration of Jira, the admin activities, they are also not very difficult. So Jira is, is a really intuitive tool. And uh, that is my reason number one. Reason number two is there is a very good ecosystem around uh, uh, Jira. And of course, if you talk about other Atlassian tools, they have this uh, marketplace. So in case uh, you are trying to do something a bit more out of your uh, Jira, if you are trying to maybe bring in a more, bring in some more functionality, maybe you want to include some uh, some features like uh, time management or you want to use Jira for test management, you want to use Jira for uh, uh, portfolio project management, or maybe you just want to use it for a specific use case. There are thousands of add-ons, modules, plugins, uh, also known as apps, and there is a marketplace. So you can go to the marketplace and you can uh, look for different uh, apps that will probably solve your problem and that will probably help you to achieve a specific requirement so this is a, this is my reason number two and my reason number three is and that that is of course uh, in my opinion my personal favorite reason of uh, using jira and that is uh, the power of uh, customizations jira can be customized to suit your needs you don't need to adjust your process to adopt a tool like Jira. Jira can actually adopt uh, and uh, you can actually make it work for you or your team or maybe for your organization. Jira is quite flexible. Jira is uh, definitely uh, very famous for uh, its workflow engine. There is a concept of not only the workflow, which is of course the main aspect, main aspect because you can have uh, your uh, life cycle of the issue or ticket that can be uh, defined in the tool and that can actually match what you are doing actually in the company. So maybe you 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 have a different way of working. You might be following Agile and Jira can definitely support you out of the box if you're using Jira software with Agile-based uh, practices. But uh, every company is different. Every team is different. Uh, maybe you have a specific need. Maybe you have a specific customization or maybe you just uh, do Agile uh, your own way. So Jira as a tool will will help you in adopting or in basically uh, um, matching or mapping your requirements in the tool. So adoption of Jira is not very difficult because the Jira can be customized. And of course, you need some uh, some competency. You need uh, uh, some some skills to to basically uh, administer and customize Jira. But again, it is not very difficult. In case you are using Jira for the very first time in your organization, you can talk to different Atlassian partners that can help you and that can actually get you started uh, very quickly and easily when it comes to uh, a tool like Jira or any any other Atlassian tool. You can quickly use Jira for doing a small POC and uh, I'm sure even if you are trying to just do a POC, a proof of concept using a, a tool like Jira, uh, you will quickly understand how how simple and how easy and quick it is to uh, to to you to work on a tool like uh, like jira and in fact any other tool from atlassian so these are my my three main reasons of course i have other reasons as well but these are my top three reasons 
uh, on uh, on convincing you to use Jira. And if you're trying to compare Jira with any, with any other tool, of course, there are some other parameters, there are some other uh, reasons, but uh, in this video, I just wanted to talk about these uh, three main reasons. I hope this video was useful. Thank you very much.